In this video, you are going to learn sample space and determine probability of an event. Maybe some of you will ask, what is probability? Why we need to learn it? Probability means the mathematical chance that something might happen. Probability is used in numerous day-to-day -day application, including weather forecasts, sports strategies, insurance, business, and so on. Now we look at example one. One letter is randomly chosen from the word Sampruna. List the possible outcomes and write the sample space for the experiment. State the number of elements in the sample space. So now I have one set of the letter Sampruna here. So I choose it randomly. Maybe first letter I choose is M. And maybe first letter I choose is S. Also, maybe it's E. A. N. R. U. O. P. So, all these letters are possible outcomes of an experiment. So how we write the sample space? Sample space equal to, don't forget, write the set notation, S, E, M, P, U, R, N, N, A. Number of sample space. So how many letters here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we write number of sample space equal to eight. Now we learn probability of an event A is determined by using formula probability A equal to number of event A over number of comes as. Let's say now I have 10 balls. Now I want to find the probability of getting an orange ball. So I choose randomly. So what is the probability I get orange ball? Let's say A equal to an event of getting an orange ball. Number of event A, number of orange ball. Now, how many orange ball here? We have five orange balls. So number of sample space. Number of sample space also we call it as number of outcome in sample space. So what is probability getting an orange ball? Probability to get orange ball is five over 10. But for the fraction 5 over 10, if we can simplify, we need to simplify it, become 1 over 2. Okay. Now, let us try to find the probability of getting a blue ball. Now, tell me, how many blue balls here? We have 3 blue balls. So, what is the probability? getting a blue ball. So as we know, probability to get a blue ball is number of blue ball over the total or over the sample space. So number of blue ball is three over the number of outcomes is 10. So our answer is three over 10. I hope everyone clear about what is probability. Now we look at next situation. Okay, now how many orange ball here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight orange ball. 
So what is the question? Find the probability of getting an orange ball. So as we know, the probability, the formula is number to get the orange ball over the total. So number of orange ball here altogether is at and total of the ball here is at also. So probability getting an orange ball is equal to at over at equal to one. Let's say now, I want to find probability of getting blue ball. Any blue ball here? No. So if no blue ball means if probability getting a blue ball is 0 over the total is at. So 0 divided by at equal to 0. So that's why for probability... The minimum value is zero and the maximum value is one. Now we look at the example. An apple is picked from a box that contains 25 green apples and 35 red apples. Calculate the probability of getting a green apple. So now we list out the information. Here, number of green apples equal to 25. Number of red apples equal to 35. So total of the apples, 25 plus 35 equal to 60. Probability of getting a green apple is number of green apple over total number of apples. So number of green apple is equal to 25. Then over total number of apples is 60. So our answer is 25 over 60. This fraction can simplify or not? If can simplify, we need to simplify it. So equal to 5 over 12. If you like my video, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.